While race events is resuming today at Hayward Field for the U.S. Olympic Trials in track and field, and though every high-level runner must eventually hang up their running shoes, the love for the sport often remains. NBC 16's Gold Meadows has a chance to meet some of those athletes who continue their passion of running. That's right, Alan, and that point is proven as two former athletes front businesses here at the trials with products made for runners by runners. 08, I was 20 years old, so I was just a kid, um, and it was euphoric. Uh, and I, it was all, it wasn't part of my plan at the time. I was just kind of out here having fun just to see how it would go. I found myself in second place with a step to go before the finish line and realizing, oh my God, I'm about to be an Olympian. And uh, across the finish line, the crowd would erupt it. Olympian Andy Weeding would go on to run the 800 meter run in Beijing and the 1500 in 2012 in London. Injury stopped his professional career, but running hasn't left Weeding. He's one of the faces of On, a Swiss-based shoe brand started in 2010. He says On has put up scaffolding at 19th and Agate to bring the same excitement to track and field other sports get. I, I went to school here, shopped at this store, and I know this corner very, very well. In my experience, running is strongest and most passionate at the root level. What we wanted to do is kind of bring our brand out here, kind of show people who we are, we're on, we get to know our footwear. There's a barbecue tailgate each day the meet runs two hours before the first event with free drinks and fan gear. On host a daily morning run at 10 a.m. with test shoes for runners. And its professional team called the On Athletics Club has 11 of its athletes competing in the trials. Just across the street is Sub 4, a business owned by retired athlete Tom Steiner. Steiner started Sub 4 in 1976 with just shorts with a brief inside to give athletes something light to run in. I started Sub 4 because Sub 4 was under four minutes for a mile and then I sponsored Steve Scott and John Walker. John Walker was an Olympic gold medalist in 1976 and Steve Scott ran 137 sub four minute miles, was the American record holder for 25 years. Steiner shared a memory of being the rabbit in an indoor race of the mile in 1975, leading out local legend and Olympian Steve Prefontaine. Priest said he wanted 204 for the first half mile. I said, Pre, I can do that, but I don't like to drop out of races. I want to finish. He says, that's okay. Just stay to the inside and I'll pass you when I want to. Steiner never did run Sub 4, though he named his business Sub 4 to make up for it. The Mancano State University grad did become an All-American in the Mile and MSU Hall of Famer. Weeding hit Sub 4 with a 351.7 mile and a PR of 144.5 in the 800 meter. of On's athletes have already clinched their spots. Two pairs, one of them, 20-year-old Marylander Juliet Whitaker. She ran a 158.45 smoking hot. And I met a guy, I was hiking Spencer Butte last weekend. He said he traveled all the way from Maryland to Eugene just to see Juliet take that win. We've got more coverage right now. We have sports director Hayden Herrera here with us with more. Gold, great to be out here with you. And it was great seeing Juliet Whitaker. She ran a fantastic 800 meters Absolutely. the other day. As for today, we've entered the final three days of competition here at Hayward Field. Now, similar to yesterday, the majority of today's events, qualifying and semifinal rounds, we do have one final on the track, the men's 110 meter hurdles. That'll end the evening at 750. Unfortunately, we won't see former Duck Devin Allen in that event as he was unable to recover from injury to compete in these trials. But tonight is a night filled with former Ducks in action. Let's show you some of those events coming up shortly at 523 p.m. The first round of the women's 100 meter hurdles featuring Alicia Johnson, who made the world championship team two years ago. The men's 800 semifinals with Matt Wisner looking to sneak into the final. Jenna Prandini and Jaden Mays, they looked very comfortable in their 200 meter first round last night. They'll both have a chance to make the final. They'll compete at 7.06. Then NCAA record holder and Medford native Jada Ross is competing in the women's shot put qualifying at 7.15. We'll have more on her in sports coming up at 530 and Kyrie King will attempt to make the men's 200 meter final at 728. Now so far in these Olympic trials we've only seen one former duck qualify for Paris and Cole Hawker. He and his training partner Cooper Tier they will be in the men's 5k final that's on Sunday but still plenty of other chances for Oregon alumni to punch their ticket to Paris. We'll be back a little bit later in the newscast with more but for now live from Hayward Field I'm Hayden Herrera now back to the studio.